<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Serial Scoop Now. I'm Roger Newcomb at the 2017 Soho International Film Festival with Emmy winning actress turned director, producer, writer, editor, everything, Katie McLean. Yes. Welcome. Hello. So is there anything you can't do? First question. Oh, uh, I'm uh, not very good at math and my spelling is really, really bad. Is there it's anything like on a set you haven't done at this point? <laughs> um, probably not. Probably not. But you know what? I'm really, really grateful. Like I, I love, you know, um, set design. I, I have so much more respect for, you know, the, uh, the art of the camera, uh, the art of the, of the lighting designer. I think it's really good. I would encourage everyone to take a turn at doing somebody else's job so that you understand at least some of the basic elements and that you can try to um, communicate. You, it'll help you communicate better with, with your departments. All right. I was trying to think of when I first saw you, and I'm sure it was on something before All My Children, <laughs> like St. Elsewhere or something. But Cheers. I definitely, cheers. <laughs> but I definitely remember you from All My Children, but I was thinking it's almost been 30 years. Yeah. And Pretty crazy, huh? You look the same, and I got really old, and I don't oh, know no. how it happened. <laughs> but... Uh, were you always writing? Were you always wanting to do other things? I think I was a very creative kid, for sure. I wrote little poems and songs and dances and did little plays. You know, I was just—I just came out very, very creative. But I also had a mom who was very encouraging of that. She had a piano and a hammered dulcimer. You know, she was like '70s kid, and we did—we learned how to knit and sew and crochet and weave and you know, play piano. And it was just really encouraged in my house. Yeah. When did you first want to direct? Uh, I first wanted to direct when I, in my early 20s. I studied with Kurt Dempster of the Ensemble Studio Theater here in, in New York City, and I, I loved it. It was the only thing that my mom discouraged because she worried that... Um, mom, come on. I know, poor mom. Um, but she, she really strongly told me, please don't do this. She could run Hollywood. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, I know. So tying it back, now we're here at the East Coast premiere of Seeing is Believing, Women Direct, your latest project. Yes. And you're, you're becoming very prolific with these projects. Oh, thank you. Um, how, tell us about this 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 project, Seeing is Believing. Well, um, I, you know, I'm a creator like everyone is a creator, and I, I just, I love making things, which is why I just keep making things. And um, I had been making short films and going around to the different film festivals and discovering that there weren't that many women directors at these festivals. I just wasn't seeing them and I wasn't seeing films directed by women. It was, seemed to be a very male-dominated field and when I told people, look, oh yes, I directed that film, they would look at me like, no, no, you're, you're the producer, right? I mean, I had people do that to me several times, like, oh, you're, you're the writer, right? Like, no, I freaking directed it. And they just couldn't conceive of it. And then all of these statistics started coming out and I was like, wow, you know, I have to do something about this. I, I love this. I feel passionate about it. I feel passionate about storytelling and if I don't... Uh, become a part of the solution that I'm going to be a victim to the problem so I didn't I couldn't let that happen and I really love helping people I love encouraging people and giving people um, wisdom and information and mentorship which is really what this film is about is is giving information mentorship uh, a, a pathway that uh, other women can see for themselves and to so that they can follow that pathway and make their own work I that would be the greatest thing that ever happened is to have more directors come out of women seeing this so in this project we see a lot of people a lot of uh, women who are working behind the scenes, directing and producing. Uh, can you name a few of them that will, that people will see that are featured in the? In the um, uh, Naima Ramos, Ramos Chapman. Uh, her first short film was at Slam Dance, and so she's like a first-time filmmaker. She's like on the really beginning end, and then we go up to like Sarah Gavron, who did Suffragette in Brick Lane, and Naima, um, uh, Leslie Linka Gladder, who's the EP of Homeland. Betty Thomas, who is one of the highest-grossing women directors of all time of all Hollywood movies. Um, Bethany Rooney, who's directed over 200 um, uh, episode, episodes of, of primetime television. Um, John Wells from John Wells Productions who did ER and West Wing and, and uh, um, you know, EPing um, American Woman, which is really exciting. I can't wait to see that. So lots of big names and, and small names. It just because everyone has like really exciting wisdom and stories to tell. So at a premiere, you know, you, you, you've gone to premieres where you're in the cast. <laughs> Do you get more nervous when it's a project that you produce or direct or is I, it the I, same? Or? You know, I think I even get, I, I love supporting other people's visions and, mm. you know, when it's a vision I can really get behind, it's great. But there is just, there's no feeling like this one of having made something, you know, from the ground up with my own sweat and blood, my own vision, my own voice, you know. And I think that's really the thing that I, I discovered through doing this. I was telling a friend on the phone while, right, was while I was getting my makeup on, getting ready to go. Uh -huh. Right? It's like I have discovered uh, my, my voice and my um, how important it is for me to to believe in my voice and 
my vision of things, you know. Uh, doing this has really solidified that in me and I'm just so, so grateful that I got to do that because it's been hard. I've, I've had, as you may have read my book or whatever, I had a, I had a tough road, you know, and, and so uh, this has helped me uh, evolve and, and heal and grow. Where can people check this out at some point? Is it going to be released? How is it, how are you, how is it out, going to be out there? Uh, well, we've had some interest from a couple of distributors, which is really awesome. <laughs> and we love that. That's just like, yay. Distributors are good. Thank you. <laughs> you really help. Um, but I'm finding encouragement from all kinds of places, which is great. Um, certainly, I want to make sure that it gets a worldwide um, release because I think there are women all over the world that need to hear this message. And, you know, I, I was having an interview with uh, Michael Robin, who is the EP and director of things like Major Crimes and Nip Tuck and The Closer. And I said to him, he asked me that same question, you know, like, what is your dream? Like, what what would you want this to, to do? And I said, I would love for a young girl in Africa who only sees things online at the local library to be able to have access to this information and these people at this level who are encouraging her to tell her story. You know, that would be incredibly rewarding and moving to me. This All is right. Kate Super. She's joining us now, another producer on the project. Uh, Kate, your credits include Woman on the Edge, is that, that's not the yes. woman on the edge with the soap stars from in the past. No, no, it, no, no I did a documentary, a documentary about women crossing the border from Mexico oh my God. to Arizona. Amazing. So, yes. A totally different, uh, yes. different piece. And but she yes. also did the Misha. Um, Misha versus Moscow, yep, another piece on President Saakashvili. Of How did you meet Katie McLean? How did you guys start working together? Oh, it's a great story. <laughs> it's an amazing story. You go, you tell. Um, we did a film together many, many years ago, and um, we shot it up in Boston. Alma Mater. Alma Mater, yes. yes. It was never released, but no. it was really good. It was great. great. Because <laughs> it played we're the Hamptons right. International Film Festival. Yeah, it was yeah. nominated for a Golden Starfish at the Hamptons. Oh my God, put that on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the two of us, I know, right, hello. Um, the two of us were the, some of the stars, lead actors in it, and so we became friends. Yeah, yeah. And I was, I was just beginning my career. I moved to New York. Katie took me under her wing, and she showed me around the city, and she introduced me to all of her people, and she took really good care of me, and we have been friends ever since. And she started working on this doc and called me and said, can were you Were always it? creative? Did you grow up as a creative? Artist. You always wanted to do something in the business, you know, right? I was actor, acting. Director. I was acting for a while, and then I was writing a little bit. And but producing is really where I feel my I, I put my best talent. So so I landed as a producer. Awesome. Yeah, she's an amazing producer. I call her our lead producer, even though that isn't really like an industry term. But she's like our front and center, the person who's been here from the very beginning, pushing it and believing in the project and helping me and showing me how the you know things can work better. I, I, this project would not exist as it is today without Kate Super. Kate did this project while having a, not, well you had your first, right, and you had your second, but she yeah. had her third child while we were doing this, yeah. and she was like texting me from the, um, from the hospital going like, are you okay, I need to take a day off, I'm like, take a freaking day off, you lady, but she's just incredible, it just goes to show that like you can have kids and still stay in the business and still stay Absolutely. sane and like, you know, be someone that you can count on and be reliable, and, and Kate has been all of that, so it's, she's really like someone women can look to, to say, look what you can do, even though you you have kids and you know, there's a lot on your plate, you know, rise to your greatest potential and you can meet it. All right. Thank you so much. Women, Seeing is Believing Women Direct, Woo! East Coast Woo! premiere, coming to the world soon. Yay. Take care. Thank you so much.